Well, what's up again there, guys? Brian here, the 3Topics Gamer, and boy, do I have a weird video to share with you, especially for this type of channel. Now, the reason being is I came to realize that uh, due to my new work schedule, it's kind of made it hard for me to find actual time to work on content that takes a good amount of time. So what I've decided to do is just kind of sent out a big request for just any random sites of uh, video ideas, whether it be top tier videos or list videos or game reviews, and then just rapid fire film them all in one day. That way we have a lot of content to edit and then upload because I just realized I actually haven't uploaded any single video since last month on the 22nd. So I'm trying, I want to try to get back in, you know, in, in form and just upload just any crazy video idea that, that that gets sent to me and this happened to be one of them so for this particular video i'll be sharing my own personal tier list ranking of pretty much all the restaurants that i either go to or don't even know about uh which uh when i actually looked at this list um found out was uh actually pretty interesting so uh if you happen to enjoy this weird little tier list ranking please make sure you like share and subscribe keep track of me on my future videos and if you have any ideas you'd like me to see me upload because at this point i'm just kind of desperate for ideas especially you know just even gaming ideas or just crazy ideas just let me know in the comments down below and heck i'll be sure to give you a credit for it and this video actually happened to be requested by this awesome viewer of mine who sent it to me while he was watching my live stream of resident evil 4. so as we go into the uh late ranking i've already gotten pretty much the majority that I have never been to. Now, I'm fairly certain that no one watching this has actually been to every single restaurant in the Never Had section, but some of these I've never even heard of. Some of these don't even exist in Las Vegas, so, you know, don't, 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 don't come at me saying, well, you can't really rank it if you've never been there. Well, that's why this section I've never had is in there. I don't know if it's good or not, but heck, some of them I just haven't had the chance. So right now, the rankings I have are the best. I'd say B tier and then C tier. So let's get started with all the C tier ones. Uh, going into C tier, by the way, don't feel bad if there's something that you like going to that's, you know, in a one ranking or another. But definitely in the C tier, I have to go with In N Out. Uh, in N Out's not bad, but I would only go to an In N Out if, like, I'm with a friend. And they want to go there, or if there's like nothing else right, and I'm like really, really hungry. Like if I'm like traveling somewhere, and I just so they're just and like there's the, an In and Out, and it's the only restaurant in town. There aren't many locations that I've been to that that have that situation, but like, I mean their burgers are okay, but I really, I really don't like their fries. Their fries taste like cardboard. I mean even when you add them with ketchup, they're not that great. Um, they got a good selection of drinks though, and. And that's about it. So, yeah, I would definitely put in and out in the C tier. Next, in the C tier, I would have to go with Taco Bell. Um, the there's only two like pieces. There's only two things I would even go to a Taco Bell for, and that's to get out of one of their, their bean burritos or get their like baja drinks. I think they're the only place you can get that, and it is really good. But since no, it only has like two things I, I even enjoy going there. It's it's not a place I find myself going to a lot. So, you know, that's why I would have to put it in the C tier. Uh, next, uh, what would be in C? I think probably Papa John's. I think their pizza, I mean, their pizzas are fine. They're a little too big. I mean, I, I think they're too big for, for me personally. Um... I mean, there's just something there's just something in their sauce flavor that's just a little bit off. I mean, I mean, if I'm at a party or if someone orders Papa John's and it's there, then I'll eat it. But it's never something that I would actually go out of my way to actually get. So that's why I would put in. That's why I would put it there. Next on my list might surprise some people, but it's actually KFC. I actually haven't been to a KFC in several years. Um, I used to eat this a lot when I was when I was younger. Um. Uh, it was it was definitely one of the top family meals that we would get growing up. Uh, but by far, my favorite thing to get from them was definitely their honey barbecue chicken. I think they got rid of that, so I think that was like a key reason why I stopped <laughs> going there. I don't know if they, I don't know if they they still make that there anymore. Uh, and since I don't have a lot of we we don't I don't really eat with my family all that much. I don't it just 
it's never been something I actually go out of my way. When I, when I go to restaurants, I very rarely get food for other people unless they, they know I'm going out and then I, they ask me to pick them up something. But that, is, that doesn't happen as, as often as I would like. So that's where I will put that there. Uh, where else would I go? I think Carl's Jr. That's another place that I just haven't been to very often. Um, there's nothing particularly bad about it. It's just like an average restaurant. But there's parts, there's, there's things that they sell there that I think are just better in other locations. But again, just like in and out if it's the only thing in town, or if it's the only place like around, or if, I, if I'm with someone and they want to go there, then I don't mind going there. Uh, but it's just not very high on my list. Uh, and kind of the same thing with Arby's. I haven't been to an Arby's in a while, and they haven't really introduced anything that I've been too interested in. But so there is that. And I think that's pretty much everything in terms of the B tier, uh, C tier. So as we go into the B tier, um, I would definitely put places like uh, Dairy Queen's, uh, this used to be big. I used to go here a lot when I was a kid. Uh, loved their ice cream. They also make very good sandwiches, and they recently upgraded their their menu, or, or as far as I know, recently uh, to add like a lot of like chicken varieties and, and fries, which is pretty decent. It's not the best, but heck, you know, it's it's fine. And I would also put a Denny's and IHOP. I mean. I mean, this, these are, I mean, I, I'd say Denny, the way I, here's how, here's how I would define Denny's. I would go to, I would absolutely go to IHOP for breakfast, but I would go to Denny's for like lunch and dinner. Like when I graduated uh, high school, we actually went to, oh no, oh wait a second, we, no, we didn't go to Denny's. We went to an Applebee's, which is weird why that's not here. Or did I accidentally put it in the never have been? Oh, no, wow, Applebee's isn't here. Oh, wow. Uh, but, yeah, I, I think that's how I would describe IHOP and Denny's. Did IHOP definitely for breakfast. Do you guys remember when they tried to switch IHOP and switch that P to a B? So in, in, instead of being called the International House of Pancakes, they wanted to turn the International ha House of Burgers. I, th I don't think they did that, as far as I can recall. But, yeah, that's that's how I would divide my trips to Denny's and, and IHOP. Uh, also in the B tier, uh, I would go to Domino's Pizza. I actually... Just went to Domino's Pizza not too long ago. Um, very nice, very nice staff. At least the the Domino's that I've been to, I like their pizzas. Um, they have a lot more variety in terms of how you customize your pizzas, and that's definitely something that I really enjoy. That you know, I just this is it's just it it's just put it this way. I I think that Domino's pizzas last longer than no, they don't they don't taste as well when you don't eat them fresh. As opposed to some some like pizza pizzas, they you know they actually taste still good if you wait like a day or two. That's just my opinion. Uh, I'll also put Little Caesars in and B tier. Uh, a lot of the same reasons as Domino's. I, I kind of like you know depending on my mood, I'll, I might switch it up between Domino's and Little Caesars, especially if I like like I will say this: Little Caesars pizzas aren't nearly as good, and you have to eat those like quickly. Like you know now, now that I think about, it, I would actually put Little Caesars in C tier. Um, yeah, I mean, they're, I mean, they're fine. I just, you, you, you have to eat them. Like you, you can't let them sit. <laughs> I mean, they're good. Oh, they're good when they're fresh, but, and they, they actually have a lot of extra foods that you can get there. But yeah, you got to eat those suckers really, really fresh. Uh, next and B is McDonald's love. Probably one of the most popular restaurants. Um, I just think that their food is really overpriced. I mean, it's good, and sometimes I love their McFlurries when their ice cream machines are working, because those break down like crazy sometimes. Um, I don't like their fries all that much, but I do like their chicken nuggets. I definitely think that they, without question, have the best chicken nuggets, so that's where I put McDonald's. Uh, where else would I go? I would also put Wiener Schnitzel. Great. Love their chili dogs. Love their chili dogs and hot dogs. Um, I think that's about it. I, I, did, I did go to Wiener Sense not too long ago, and it was great. And their prices are, are, are pretty good. Uh, I would also put Wendy's, you know, good restaurants, great ice cream. Uh, when they bring in their, like, their spicy, spicy nuggets, those are always really good. I would also put uh, Subway. Subway, you know, if I want to eat something a little more. This, this is, Subway is where I mainly eat when I go to work. 
Uh, love their personal pizzas. I also love their sandwiches. You know, they're, they're really good at kind of maintaining weight loss. I mean, some people have done it and, you know, I have seen results. So, you know, that's why I would put that there. I, I would actually put it like near the near top of top of me. I, I actually really like, really like Subway. And I think I put uh, Chick-fil-A right behind Subway. Um, I will say they're, I, I'd say their nuggets are really 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 good and they have like this special sauce that you can only get there um and their drive throughs are, are, are actually kind of interesting i actually think that out of all the restaurants i think chick-fil-a without question has the best drive throughs and i love their chicken sandwiches without question like that's like easily a top five favorite meal across all restaurants of all time but as we go into my all-time favorite easily my top five restaurants without question um i'd easily go like top was actually a jack in the box, which believe it or not, I actually just had some today. Oh, sorry. Actually, just had some today. Um, really great. I I think Jack and I think uh, Jack in the Box probably is my favorite set of fries. I think they definitely have the best fries, and their nuggets are pretty good, and so are their chicken tenders, and you know their sauce is also really really great. So I would put them in the best. But uh, I would also put Burger King a little bit ahead of Jack in the Box. But between the Burger King and McDonald's battle, I'm definitely much more of a Burger King fan. Love their Whoppers. Uh, love their drinks. I mean, they don't really do too many crazy drinks, but, you know, their, their customer service is always a little bit better. Um, I like their fries, too. It's, it's, it's tough competition between their fries, but I think Jack in the Box has a slight edge. But I think the Nuggets in Burger King are a little bit better. And I've also had much more better experiences than Burger King. And I literally, I literally live, like, right around the corner from one. And I absolutely love their, uh, what the heck is it? Their cinnamon sticks. Those are like my. That's like one of my favorite breakfast meals. Well, it's not really like a like a meal. I I, I wish their orange juices were a little bit bigger though. They they sell them in these little cart like cartons. So I ended up having to buy like two or three of them just to you know get full. Next, uh, my I go have to go to Sonic. Love Sonic. Uh, with with KFC apparently not having their barbecue chicken anymore. I don't know if they do it or or haven't. Uh, I typically go here. Love their slushies. They have. I usually like to get their primary specials which you get if, which they like cut in half like price wise if you go before a certain time my mom likes to go there a lot whenever she comes to town i love their grilled cheese sandwiches by far they make the best grilled cheese sandwiches at least to me their barbecue sauce is also amazing and they just just always always for always a great experience and love their their drive throughs and their, their sit-in drive throughs those, those are always fun uh by far my favorite pizza chain is definitely pizza hut um they they are the they are the king of pizzas. They, my question, best pizzas, ever. I mean, whether you you choose to buy your frozen pizzas from the store, like something like DiGiorno or, you know, Red Baron or something like that. Well, without question, Pizza Hut makes the best pizzas. They have some of the best extra foods, and I definitely get a number of boneless ch uh, chicken wings or like you know chicken. I think, yeah, I'm not talking about chicken wings, but uh, I definitely get a bunch of those. And I, they have, like, the best customization of, of different sauces there, too. So I always manage to get, like, pizzas and wings. And those things last for several days. Like, I can I can buy a Pizza Hut pizza, wait, like, a few days, and it'll still be good. And it's the only pizza, I would say, out of the three main pizza chains that does that. But without question, my favorite place to go is Panda. Their orange chicken is king i could eat that forever in fact i love and you know their rice they menu great collection but their orange chicken is king in fact it's so king that i've made it a just a natural tradition that it's been placed for at least i say like the last 10 years that anytime i go see a movie <laughs> i usually go get this and also i actually have, I have a panda express that is like right next to my main job and I get a discount there, so it's like it's 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 never much of a burden for me to just leave work for a moment, go grab some, bring it back to my office, and just enjoy it. And it's it's just the one food that just never gets old. So yeah, I, I'd say Panda Express is definitely uh, my favorite place to go and get food for other people. So that is my tier list ranking of uh, the main fast food restaurants I like to go to. Um, 
I'm not sure if any of you would be bold enough to want to share how you would rank these restaurants because that is a lot here. But heck, if you want to give it a shot, go ahead. If you like my ranking, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Keep track of me on all my future videos. And like always, thank you guys for watching. You're awesome. And I will see you all next time.